Doing fine, girl. So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. of this who the devil are you prime minister i'm your new bodyguard jacob fry i wasn't informed of any new bodyguard who's your commanding officer let the boy speak dizzy <laughs> madam apologies but we've learned of a threat on your life and the met thought it best to move quickly threat what sort of threat <gasps> that sort if you excuse me a moment What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency.
Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I am afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Ha 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 I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond.
That's a girl. That's the way. Slow down. Steady on. Acre has to offer. Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. Do you know this gentleman is a... Oh, what was it? Yes. A costermonger. Of all things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Pardon, Bishop. Shall we I go? That was the Eucharist. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. I believe you're required to have for this, Mr. Fry. <laughs> What's got into you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. Mr. Fry, shall we press on? Well now, what? aren't you just the most charming fella? What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one-ton pub. Best beer in the Devil's Acre. Marvellous! Do you suppose we'll see a... a brawl? Why don't you have a seat? So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? Remarkable. Nice doggy. Desmond, hand over the mutt. 
You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Mm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Who's a good boss? Well, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Hardigan is the gentleman you see. Tars, always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens, campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government could ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. <laughs> <laughs> 